Good morning and welcome to Wonderful Wednesday, Daily Nuggets from the Lord. I can't believe I've been doing this for over a week now. It's amazing. I'm still in shock. I don't even want to do this today. I'm so tired. Oh, Lord, deliver me. But our oh, Heavenly Father woke me up this morning. Beautiful sunshine. And he just reminded me of the glory of the Lord. It's a wonderful Wednesday. Get up, get out of bed, and get moving. So here I am before you once again. So I had it all planned. I'm going to do this devotion. I'm going to say this. I'm going to do whatever. And this morning, while I was struggling to get out of bed, the Holy Spirit just said, Remember this. When I said, Jesus wept, I was like, huh? What is that? And then I thought about it. And so I've been going through scripture this morning and looking at this in context. Everybody just says, oh, that's the shortest verse in the Bible. Yes, Jesus wept. Anytime there's any kind of Bible quiz, everybody tries to run for that one. But there's so much context in this. So let me read it for you from where, you know, so we get where it's coming from. It's in John 11, and I'm going to take it to you from verse, um, let's see the best one, so 20. So when Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went and met him, but Mary remained seated in the house. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would have not have died. But even now I know that whatever you ask from God, God will give you. Jesus said to her, your brother will rise again. I want to pause there where you see the faith of Martha. She says, but even now I know, and this is verse 22, that whatever you ask from God, he will give you. As we continue, verse 25, Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, though he die, yet shall he live. And everyone who lives and believes in me shall never die. Do you believe this? She said to him, Yes, Lord. I believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God, who is coming into the world. As we read on. When she said this, she went and called her sister Mary, saying in private, The teacher is here and is calling for you. And when she heard it, she rose quickly and went to him. Now Jesus had not yet come into the village, but was still in the place where Martha had met him. When Jesus saw who were there in the house consoling her, saw Mary rise quickly and go out, and they followed her, supposing that she was going to the tomb to weep there. Now when Mary came to where Jesus was, she saw him. She fell at his feet, saying to him, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. Then Jesus saw her weeping, and Jesus and saw who had come with her also weeping. And he was greatly moved in spirit and greatly troubled. And he said, where have you laid him? They said to him, Lord, come and see. Jesus wept. So the Jews said, see how he loved him. But some of them said, could not he have opened his eyes of the blind man also and kept this man from dying? Then Jesus, again deeply moved, came to the tomb. It was a cave, and a stone lay against it. Jesus said, Take away the stone. Martha, the sister of the dead man, said to him, But Lord, by this time there will be an odour, for he has been dead four days. Jesus said to her, Did I not tell you that if you believed, you would see the glory of God? So they took away the stone, and Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, Father, I thank you that you have heard me. I knew that you always hear me, but I said this on the account of the people standing around, that they may believe that you sent me. And when he said these things, he cried out with a loud voice, Lazarus, come out. The man who had died came out, his hands and feet bound with linen strips and face wrapped with a cloth. And Jesus said to them, Unbind him and let him go. When I read that, 
I went through the whole context because Jesus wept was deep but it wasn't enough for me to grasp it so I was like what does this mean Lord but there's some key factors in there and when I went and back and the Lord got me to go to Jeremiah 33 3 call to me and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things which you do not know once again God is saying come to me but if you notice a lot of the times when that breakthrough comes or like when Jacob wrestled and fought with God it's when you've gone through a testing time you have been at breaking point you are weeping you are bawling you are at a time in your life when you're like father God I can take this cup no more which is what Jesus said when he was giving his life us on the cross please but then you believe and it will be so so today I come to you and I just say I'm not saying that life is easy because it's not we are going through some testing times some real trying times today and I am truly in the mindset that we are in the last days um, evolution I a slidge bang boom even evolution is going to come to an end if it started the way how it did something is happening in our world today last week Mexico had snow and then it became 83 Celsius that's crazy so you've gone from 0 to 83 in one day People, it's time for us to really stand on the promises of God. It's time for us to seek Christ daily. Even though I'm tired and I'm being feeling right miserable today, I didn't want to give you a daily nugget today. I will not pretend to you. I wanted to stay in my bed. But the Lord knows somebody needs to hear this. You are at a time of your life, a trying time, a lonely time, a, a workless time, a financial crisis time, your house could be being taken time, a time of your life, God is saying to you, if you will believe, cry out to me, I will hear and I will answer. So as you know, today is a prayer and testimony, um, prayer and fasting day. Sorry, I'm ahead of myself. Tomorrow is testimony day, so you can tell me tomorrow the great things that God has done for you. But today we want to pray. We want to come before the Lord and we want to ask him to hear our cries and to answer. So um, for me today, unfortunately, because I'm really not feeling very well and um, the, side, the, the, the trials of femalehood, um, I am actually not going to be fasting, but I'm going to be praying continually through the day. Um, and I want those of you that can fast who, um, to do so but please I'm asking you as we pray go to your father in heaven with whatever it is even the smallest minuscule thing let him have it drop it at his feet and let God take control so let us pray Father God, I just want to say thank you so much for your love and for waking us up this morning. If we are hearing this, we can testify, dear Father, that we are alive. So, hallelujah. Please, dear Lord, there are many under the sound of my voice that need to hear a word from you, but also need you to answer. They are praying diligently. They are desiring things, and not things that are not even something that they, 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 they just need, but it will help them to have a better life or to move forward or to be able to profess the name of Jesus Christ that you have done great things. So Father, I'm asking you to hear their pleas, see their tears and to answer their prayers. Honor your promises. You say throughout the Bible, if we believe, then you we should ask and you will answer. So Father God, I beg of thee today to hear their prayers and we just want to say thank you for answering in advance and we praise you and we worship your holy name in the name and the blood of Jesus Amen so on this wonderful Wednesday 
I want you to have a blessed day. Bye-bye.